Hi everyone, welcome back to East Coast Training Zone or welcome if you're new here. My name is Carla and I'll be doing the TRX Core Challenge with you. On top of the weekly workout plan, we created a TRX Core Challenge for you, which will last for one month. After the holidays, I'm sure we all need a little bit of extra core work. I certainly do. So, how does it work? You will be challenging yourself by doing three TRX core workouts a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. So, on top of your usual training days. Workouts will be 10 to 15 minutes at maximum. We'll start quite easy and we'll build up the difficulty over one month. So, by the end of the challenge, your core should be a lot stronger. Before we dive into this core challenge on the TRX, I just want to remind you that if you want to see more workouts and build the TRX weekly routine, check out my on-demand platform where you will find weekly workout plans and lots of videos for different levels. I will leave a link in the description box down below. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never have to miss a workout here on YouTube. All right, so for this workout, you need a mat, you need a towel, a water bottle, and of course your TRX. Are you ready? Let's get started. We'll start with a warm-up exercise. So have your TRX at mid-length, face your anchor, have your elbows underneath your shoulders, and then let's do some squat rows to start with. We'll do 20 repetitions just to make sure that you are well warmed up. So let's go, squat and row. One. Weight is on the heels as you drive up through the heels and then rowing back up as well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're halfway in this warm-up exercise, squatting and rowing. So using the lower body and the upper body for five. Weight is definitely on the heels. Six, driving up through the heels. Eight, nine, and last one, and done. And then your first exercise of the core challenge today will be a power pull. So you just need one of your straps at mid-length. Have your right elbow underneath your right shoulder and then lengthen your left elbow. Feet are hip width apart. We turn out, we rotate and then we pull back with power. 10 repetitions on each side. Two, three, rotation and pull. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm just gonna move a little bit to the right now, have my left elbow underneath my left shoulder, right arm is straight, and then out, and pull back with power. Two, three, four, rotation and pull, five, keeping, an active plank always, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, for the next one, which is still a standing exercise, we need a fully lengthened TRX, so slide your straps all the way down and face away from your anchor, have your feet hip width apart, Incline, not too much. Have your handles in front of your shoulders. And then let's move up with the arms. You go onto your toes. Of course, your body is planked. Active plank here. Two, we do 10 repetitions in this standing rollout. Three, just make sure not to drop your hips. Your core should be really tight. Five, so what I do here is I squeeze my glutes, I tighten my abs continuously. 
six down, seven, eight, two more in this standing rollout, nine, and last one, and back down. We're going to the floor for the rest of the workout. So place your mat and your towel and then have your straps at mid-calf length. Mid-calf for your floor exercises. And then let's take it down to the floor. We're going into a plank. First of all, elbow plank. We will be doing three of them. So we'll be doing three elbow planks of 10 seconds with five seconds rest in between. Check your feet, are they flexed? Are they leveled? Shoulders and elbows in line, have your hands separately and then just move your shoulders back, shoulders in back pockets. Squeeze your glutes, tighten your abs and let's lift the hips and go into plank. For 10 seconds, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax, five, four, three, two, one, second plank, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax, five, four, three, two, one, one last time, keep pulling your toes to your nose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax, you can always have a back stretch in between. If you need to. And then let's go on to the side for the first side plank. I'm on my right side, elbow and shoulder in one line. My upper leg is in front, my feet are leveled. I'm going to press myself up, feet touch, hand goes to hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and. 10 and then I'll just turn to the other side to do my left side side plank. Let's go up, feet touch, hand to hip, shoulders stacked and hips are stacked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 and back to the front. Our next exercise starts from an elbow plank. It's a body saw. So we're pushing ourselves back in that elbow plank. So let's get back into plank. And then let's push back 10 repetitions. One, two. Doesn't have to be a big movement. Four, just backwards, five, Six, just make sure your hips are not going down. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Definitely a back stretch after this one. Just a few seconds is enough. And then the last one in plank will be the mountain climber. We'll be doing it from an elbow plank again. And uh, mountain climber means that we are pulling one knee towards the chest while the hips go up and then we alternate. 10 repetitions, let's get into that plank first. And then right knee in, hips go up. Left, right, left, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Feet out. You can have a bit of a longer back stretch now. Right. On 
to the back. Accordion crunch will be the next one. We'll be doing 15 repetitions. So lay down, place your heels into the foot cradles, level your feet, weight is on the heels, and then come up into a boat pose. So this is your start position. And what we do is we crunch and then we lengthen again. Right, boat pose to start. Keep your feet flexed and go. One, 15 we do, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another five. One, two, three, four, and five, and down and out. For the next one, we'll be moving our head to the other side. So we'll be underneath the anchor with our head. Place your feet close to your buttocks and as wide as your mat. Grab your handles in a biceps grip. Your handles should be right above your shoulders. And what we will be doing now is um, assisted crunches. So we are lifting upper back and shoulders. Your nose points up to the ceiling and then you go back down. So 15 repetitions in this assisted crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, and five. Now, for the next one, you can move your hands into the foot cradles, open your arms to the side, have them straight, and place your legs in a tabletop position. We'll be doing heel taps, 20 repetitions. Only move your hip joint, not your knee joint. Let's go. One, try to keep your lower back pressed into the mat. You don't really have to touch the floor. If that makes your back lifting, then definitely don't. Just try to reach for the floor, but keep in mind, always protecting your lower back. Eight, nine, 10, another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. All right, grab your handles again, hold them together right above your chest, surround them by both hands and straighten the legs. Relax your shoulders. We'll be doing a complete leg drop alternating. Start on the right side. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible. And also here, it's important to keep your lower back pressed into the mat. And again, if that means your leg is not going all the way down, then that's fine. You will still work your abs. Don't worry. Seven, eight, nine, and last one. Okay, back to tabletop. We're going side to side now, working the side up. So you need to put pressure on your handles in order to keep the loop stable up there. You don't want it moving. And then let's go to the right first with both legs together. You can have your knees together or separate, whatever feels more comfortable for you. I have mine together today. Four, try to reach for the floor. Five, six. Just keep looking at your anchor. Don't move the entire body. Nine. And last one. We stay in tabletop for the next one. We'll be doing heel taps again. 10 repetitions, only this time with both heels at the same time. So let's go down, both heels at the same time. You can have your knees joined or separate. 
three. Also here, again, press your lower back into the mat. Five, done. Six, seven, only the hip joint is working. Eight, not the knee joint. Nine, and 10. Okay. Let's make it a little bit more difficult now. For the next one, I want you to start with your knees pulled up towards your chest. You're pressing on your handles. You're lifting yourself off the floor, upper back, shoulders and head, not bending the neck. And then straighten out your legs, reaching for the floor, for the mat, and then coming back. 10 repetitions. This one is called abs tuck. One. Two. If it's too hard for you to keep your shoulders and upper back lifted, just put your head on the floor. It still works your abs, don't worry. Five done. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one. Okay, little break. For the next one, the scissor kicks. We have the same setup, only we start with straight legs. We lift shoulders and upper back again, and then we'll be scissoring with the legs like this. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and back down right you can let go of the trx straps grab your knees hug your knees wiggle this was your last exercise we'll just do a few stretches now and uh, that will be it for today so for the stretches we need mid length again let's just stretch the lower back and the sides. So have your elbows underneath your shoulders, lengthen palms down, flex your knees, and then just curl your back. Relax. You deserve it after this first core workout of the week, of the month, of the challenge even. Turn out to the right. This is a rotation to uh, stretch your sides. Back to the middle, left side stretch. And back, right side again. You can always hold it a bit longer if you need to. Left. And then let's just finish with another back stretch here. And then step forward, go a little wider in your stance, press on your handles, and then a nice forward hinge to end this first TRX core workout. And done. Well done, excellent. I'm happy you, you were here, and I hope I can motivate you to continue with this core challenge on the TRX um, for the next few weeks. I'll be here and I hope you'll be joining me as well. Keep going!